Oh, hey, what's up, Internet? This is Joel here at the Chicago Music Exchange. And uh, today I'm pretty pumped because I get to showcase for you something else awesome that was born in Kalamazoo, Michigan. This Heritage 535 in Cherry. We love Heritage guitars here at Chicago Music Exchange. I found this on the web for his Heritage 535. Check it out. Shut up, Siri. Keep that in there. Don't even edit that out. Keep that in. I'm from Kalamazoo, Michigan. I was born and raised. That's where Gibson was founded and spent all their existence through like 1984. And Heritage guitars are built in the same factory using a lot of the same tools and machines that they used to build golden era Gibsons. And 535 obviously takes some cues from another guitar that ends in 35. I would argue that for the money, this is just pretty unbeatable for the quality of instrument that you get. So this is a figured maple top, back as well. It's nice pretty wood. Um, rosewood board, and my goodness, is this a dark, velvety chocolate rosewood board. I thought it was ebony for a second, just kind of eyeball test looking at it, and it's really smooth and it feels great. But I mean, this is about as dark a piece of rosewood as I've seen on anything. Bridge and tailpiece are both blocking, solidly built, really nice, heavy duty Grover tuners, just classic. Add a little sustain, a little more weight. Don't be scared of a little bit of weight. I guess unless you have like a chronic back thing, and I don't want to judge. But in general, like, you know, good is good. And then we got two Seymour Duncan Seth Lover pickups, which sound great. Seth is not a selfish lover. He wants everyone to enjoy good tone as much as he does. So we've got them these guitars. They just sound really good. Really, really good sounding traditional humbucker, PAF-esque. Um, not super low output, not super chimey on top, not super muddy and full of low end either. Just a great, kind of does everything. Works great for gain, sounds fabulous clean. Slim, semi-hollow design, pretty versatile, you can kind of do everything. I mean, jazz totally lends itself to jazz. Um, great kind of strummer, country Americana, light overdrive, the kind of overtones and harmonic, cool extra content that you get from being semi-hollow, you know? It just sounds great, it's a great guitar. And again, it was made in Kalamazoo, just like me. And uh, we love their stuff here, and I hope you dug the demo, because it was really fun to play it. Mm -hmm. 